This is how to assemble the unicorn. Here you have the unicorn cap. At the back it has a magnetic docking station where you can put the unicorn. There are two electrodes that we don't need right now. This is the reference and ground electrode, so we put them aside. For the other electrodes, so this is electrode number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And now we just put on each electrode clip on the according position. So we are here we have electrode clip number one. The number is written on the bottom of the clip. And we now put it on here by just by sliding in onto the electrode. We do this for all electrodes. So here's electrode number three. When you put on the clips, be careful to slide them onto the electrode and not press it into it like this. So this is how to put on the unicorn, which are going to be positioned on the left and right mastoideus. So this is the space on the bone behind the ear. We connect those two to the ground and reference electrode. To put on the cap, the unicorn is at the back. So make sure that the third electrode is positioned in the middle between on top, in front of the, the bony part between the eyes and the bony part at the back of the head, which is hard to feel here because of the magnetic station. Before I close the chin strap, I'm going to attach the ground and reference electrode. So this is the left one. Let's start with the right one. If you want to, you can also apply a little drop of gel to the electrode to, um, to make sure that the connection is good, but you don't have to. Make sure that all electrodes are well positioned, that they are not somehow tilted. So. To turn on the unicorn, press the button until the blue light goes off again. And we now see that it blinks shortly in blue. This means that the unicorn is turned on, but it's not connected to the computer. I now start the unicorn suite and connect the unicorn device. I open the unicorn recorder and I start the data acquisition. So here we can see that there all electrodes are yellow, so they're not connected in a good way and the signal needs a time to get filtered in. So we use the unicorn with dry electrodes now. Make sure that the cables are not tight and that they're all loose and there is no tension on them. And I'm now going to rub all electrodes to connect them better to the scalp. The subject should sit straight and put both feet on the ground. So we now see the signal. We see that all electrodes are green. Please close your eyes. Here we see the alpha waves. Now um, blink a few times. We see the blinks in the first in the first channel. Now please clench your teeth. So we see the EMG artifacts of the teeth clenching also in the EEG. For wet electrodes, we need, um, we need gel. So this is how you can fill in the gel. You open the syringe. And then you fill in the gel. So this is how you apply gel to the electrodes. You put in the syringe and apply the gel by turning in to all pins. It is important that all pins have gel on them. And we
turn the syringe and push the gel into it. Let's do this with all electrodes. So now we check the signal quality. So now, please blink. We can see the blinks in the EG, in the first channel. Now clench your teeth. We can see the EMG artifacts. Now please close your eyes. We can see the alpha waves. To put off the unicorn. Carefully declip it and demount it. Be careful because the reference and ground electrodes are still connected. So carefully slip them off. To turn off the battery, press the button until the blue light turns off. The electrodes are one-way electrodes, so we remove them after using them. This might be a little bit hard. You can throw them to the bin. When the, the light turns yellow, it means that the unicorn is almost out of battery, so please recharge it now. When it is totally out of battery, it will blink red for a few times and then it turns off automatically. So to charge the unicorn, which is now blinking yellow, so it's out of charge. We charge it with the computer, so put in the USB connection. When the unicorn is charging, the light turns green, and when it is charged, um, the light turns off. So please deconnect it when it is fully charged to not overcharge it. If you use the electrode as dry electrodes or only apply a little bit of gel, it might be enough to just clean them with a wet sponge by carefully scrubbing off the, the gel and dust. So if the electrodes are full of gel, you have to, you have to wash them better with, um, with water. For this you have to put off the unicorn because it is not waterproof. So this part is not waterproof, don't put it into water. To unmount the electrode clips, slip them off. Don't put them off like this. This is bad for the electrodes, but slide them off carefully. Twisting them helps. So the unicorn is not waterproof. You can wash the electrode clips if it is necessary, but try to avoid it. To wash the electrodes, use, um, it's best to use an old toothbrush or something similar. You can put the cap totally into the water and clean the electrodes by scrapping it with the toothbrush.